Hey, welcome back. This is the beginning of my second session, and motion blur is gone. Woo! -hoo. So, uh, what happened is I got into the i9 files and I set motion blur to zero. Uh, there is a topic in the Steam forums for this game that's actually pinned. To the, it's the only pinned topic in the entire Steam forums, saying how to fix this. Uh, it's such a prevalent problem that it's a pinned topic. They don't even have a pinned like announcement thread. So the developers are very aware of it. Hopefully they'll patch it or something. Because, yeah, that motion blur was uh, horrible. And genuinely a problem. And that needs to be fixed. So I believe... I think both those conversations have saved as having been happened in the past. I stopped in an awkward moment where I wasn't sure if they, it was going to save my progress or not. So let's head back on out. But yeah, so we're playing on Ultra now, or Great, or whatever the... Whatever the... What's it called? I put the graphics back on high, I believe. Yeah, epic. So everything's on epic, but the motion blur is disabled. So we get everything we wanted. Not like the game's going to be shockingly beautiful or anything, but now I'm not de I'm not reducing any of the graphics settings for the sake of trying to ev evade a horrible motion blur that should have never made it past testing, but did. Hey, Vladdy, I love you. Come back. Ah, idiot. So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Where we go? So where we go? Idiot. Where do I go? That is a good question, actually. Oh my god, there's no motion blur. This is great. This is everything I've ever wanted. So have I missed anything? Hopefully I don't completely lose track of where I've been. That's one of the concerns. That's why I try to play this game for as long as possible in each session, because I don't want to lose track of... What I'm doing. So this, we have a sweaty headband, we have a cheap jumpsuit, we have an English muffin that's I'm, I'm convinced it will never be used or will be used at the end of the game. We have a picture of one of the guy's faces. That's a note. And a coat rack. Might have to look around for a while. This is not good. Too many toys. Children should play with rocks to help them understand life. Oh, there they are. Bobby Lazy Buffoon. I know you're still uh, you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork on I left on your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job, Corpsley Ted. Also, for the thousandth time, why do you even have a daycare? There are no children here, halfwit, Corpsley Ted. Yep, I'm pretty convinced that that uh, Ted is the is the plant character we saw because he clearly thinks highly of himself and thinks that everyone's an idiot and he's frustrated with everyone around him and stuff like that. It gives you the, he gives you the same vibe that the writing on all the blue notes gives him. Whereas Bob seems to be rather whimsical and impulsive and irritating for different reasons. There are too many containers in here. Bloody does not like it. Was this open before? West Hook checkpoint. I don't remember the staircase. Am I crazy? Am I forgetting things? No, this seems new. It's making noises at me. Hello. You got me. No? What? Why is that Vladdy's job? What is Vladdy supposed to do? Love me. This stupid thing will never work. It is... It huh? Okay. It worked. Like magic. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna make a fake person, right? Oh yeah, that's all of the items I have. There we go. We have a headband holding a fake picture, a, a fake Etch-a-Sketch drawing of the guy's face in a jumpsuit. And this crappy suit that no one can actually wear. Propped up on- wow. You know what? I probably should have figured it out, but when I looked at all those items in my inventory, I did not think that we we're going to create a fact. All of them are going to combine to be a single facsimile of one person. Huh? You must be joking. That never worked. Oh yeah? Well, that was still stupid. Yes, it was. It was very stupid. I love you, Vladdy. Come with me. West took control. I guess we're done with the whole previous zone, huh? Hey, look! You opened a door. <laughs> Better not get killed by surprise corn man. 
I wonder if this game ever has any action or chase segments, or if you're just free to explore. They would be ill-suited, probably, if they did happen. Chance to go back up? I'll take a look. I'll go take a look-see. Maybe it loops around to another secret part of the base we already had access to. Are we going higher? We're going higher, aren't we? It was gross here, too. Submarine access. There's a submarine. Hi. Hiya, Ted. Since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob. Bob, you realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area? Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. Cordially, Ted. Oh, I'm gonna. Am I, am I about to get locked in here? Oh, well. This isn't real life. I'll be fine. Hee <laughs> hee. In base four, I'm fine. A loading skid. Oh, it's just in my. Sure, why not? You decided to pick this up because you liked the direction of the grain and the wood, and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. It just closed behind me, didn't it? A submarine assembly no, no, uh, manual. An instruction manual for building your own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, this manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. That's terrible. You don't want to choose your own adventure at building something that only works when it's built correctly. I see. Muffin, save me. Did not save me. Muffin was unsuccessful in its endeavor. He's adorable. All right. Well, at least we're not lonely anymore. Although we can't tell if we still can't tell if I'm a uh, if I'm a freaking corn or not. I feel like if I was a corn, I would know because I would see my hands when I'm holding all these objects all the time. Does that ever open? No. Water pipe added to my folio. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There, w there will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. I do like that you can pick up miscellaneous nonsense as if it might be useful one day, the same way somebody would play the an adventure game, but the game's nice enough to sort it into a separate screen. Hi, Ted. Just for your information, I brought the uh, I brought the S. Uh, Acetylene gas tank up from the farm for the animals uh, annual staff barbecue completely corn free of course haha <laughs> Bob Bob how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm put it back We're days behind schedule and stop joyriding with a tractor dummy cordially dead key Well, I know where to take you Let's go Oh, yeah, I didn't check it. Oh, I forgot to check the, the keys description for some reason, you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you, you think these things. It is alarming. Box cutter, the cheapest box cutter commercially available. This brand holds the distinction of being the only one that has rendered completely useless after one swipe. Get it? Because in, in this in this game, every item you ever use goes away. Yep, that door closed behind us, just like we knew from the note. What is that gonna be? A bulb? A grenade? A Fabergé egg that I'm going to hammer into submission with my amazing brute force? Possibly. An approved design for a loading crane. Why? Oh, it's like a crane. It's, a, it's, it's approved by Bob. It's like a... It's like a crane game. That's funny. Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off a sing uh, simple clog game, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after uh, Bob forged his signature on the appro approval form. He faked Ted's signature. Oh, man. I'm sure that... Water. Blood is favorite. I, uh, don't think I'd get along very well with Bob if I had the opportunity. Hi, Ted. I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will be nearly double, Bob. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this is may well, uh, may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Yeah, why would two people operate the same lifting system if it's one... Oh, look, the claw. You can see the claw and it has to go through this crazy pattern. If two people have to work together, 
if two people had to operate the same thing, then, like, it's just gonna get stuck. Uh, it's just gonna overcomplicate things for no reason. Open storage box is filled with Fabergé eggs. Wow. Why well, you I... pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladi does not understand. I was 100% cor uh, correct. I would say I really called it, and that, that, like, that's crazy or something, but it was literally egg-shaped, so I guess that was kind of obvious. Priceless Fabergé egg. Bob got his hands on these ex uh, extravagant artifacts because he knew a guy, and bought them in bulk so he could get a slight discount. He kept them even after he learned that they didn't contain any chocolate. So he thought they were chocolate, so he's paying exorbitant prices for them, and he continues to buy stuff in bulk for basically no reason. Hiya, Ted. You need this box of knickknacks loaded? Be a pal in mood for me, would you? Bob. Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Cordially, Ted. A locked cello case. Maybe there's an egg to the cello case inside the fabric case. It, why would that be there, though? Why would there? Why would it? Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't even know why you have a cello case. You don't even own a cello, dummy. Cordially, Ted. Ah, so there's definitely something inside that if I can open it. So let's go ahead and break our beautiful egg. Smashed priceless Fabergé egg with hammer for some reason. <laughs> priceless lockpick. Easily the most expensive lockpick in the world, but you don't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work. <laughs> it looks like a bent paper clip. <laughs> The most ex used most expensive lockpick in history to unlock cello case. Uh... Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. That's probably true. There's probably no reason for me to doing, be doing all the things I'm doing right now, and risking myself. For reasons known only to you, you're holding a radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. Where do I put you? Where do I put you? Have I even seen a thing that would necessitate this? I just kind of have it now. Vladdy, can you open this? Uh, in there? Oh, butzo oh boy! Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! Ah, ah, stupid wires everywhere! Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah, ah, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense. How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy can. Oh! Ah, Vladdy has to. Oh! I can't do this dumb. Ah! Ah! Boy, guys, so many. Hey, idiot! Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something. Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Two more Lushi drugs, stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? I just wanna... Eh. Vladdy did not like any part of the experience. Also, a new path is open to you. Probably somewhere radioactive. You don't say. <laughs> My radioactive English muffin. So the, uh... Hello. I just want to take- I, would, I wish I could download Vladdy into every game I don't like. And he would just make the experience better. That'd be an improvement. Also, Vladdy, you didn't have to crawl. There was plenty of headroom. You could have just walked through the hole and the vent. You're really short. Honestly, I could have crawled through that. It was- it was really big space. A lot of video game characters are very lazy about their ability to crawl. So the question now is what has opened up back here? Hi. I assume all this greenness is a reference to this radioactive thing that may have opened. And I think that's where I came from, right? Was it? No, I came out of that door over there. So this is the, this is new then. I think. Please be new. Please don't be wrong. I like not being wrong. This, this, this. Oh my god. He has his own personal version of the lobby. Bob P. McTavish, honorary lobby. Why? In the world, would you do this? Bobby Buffoon, this, uh, why is there a lobby here, and what happened to the de de decontamination room? Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. I uh, think this will be a, a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gotta be a real money maker, Bob. Words fail me. Idiot. 
Cordially Ted. And stop it with the statues! Cordially Ted. Cordially Ted. Now we have two paintings of him. He just wanted his own lobby that didn't have Ted in it. Baba knows this flyer and assumed this was your work. So I will remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one? Stupid. Cordially shit, Ted. Flyer for a local pool company. Paul's Pools and Pest Removal. Hours? N 8 or 9.30 through 5 on most days, but closed on Sunday and Wednesday. 555-1995. Five, 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 nine, nine, five. A flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop. Along with a free extermin extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several t uh, times in red pen. It sounds to me like he didn't actually want a, p uh, a pool and instead was trying to exterminate a specific singular pest. And knowing how this, there's a spiteful anti-Ted lobby down here, I almost wonder if he wanted them to exterminate Ted. Or maybe it was the sentient corn. Hard to say. Also, uh, another dangerous call made here because it gives you a discount if you're within 20 miles of the shop. So it's uh, it's just more chances of giving away the location of the secret facility by narrowing it down in such a way. Reactor control. Oh. I picked it up instead of it's not it's not something you solve a puzzle for You took this not because you want to make coffee But that you heard that coffee machines grant you one wish after much thought you wished for coffee. It didn't come true. Oh The, the tragedy of thinking that coffee makers wish for co uh, Grand wishes and then your wish was coffee and it didn't even do the thing that coffee makers normally do So you're stupid on two levels. Congratulations. Ooh, side door. That looks awful dangerous down there. Let's probably not go there. Everything down there looks like it's just gonna be full of like breathing and radioactive dust. A lobby design brochure. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill uh, all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. On the back, one design in particular is circled in red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, waiting never felt so good. Lobbies, 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 lobbies for you. So the funny thing is that he's the constant time wait. He's the con the constant money waster of the group, but he always buys the cheapest thing he can find because he's convinced himself that he's saving money, which is part which is why he's so flagrant about constantly spending everything. Bob, I've made this map so our staff can restart the bargain basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. D do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. Cordially, Ted. Ted, Ted, I solved your maze. Took me a little while, but I, but I got it in the end, Bob. Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? Cordially, Ted. Weird. Whoa, moving is weird in this game, I just realized. Whenever you stop pressing the forward button, you stop at that point of your walk cycle. So you can be like, stop this high, stop this high, stop this high, stop this high. Weird. Wow, so we tried to solve the maze. Congrats. I suppose if I could read this very carefully, if I only look at the blue, I could figure out the pattern here. Because all, uh, all of the red is bullshit nonsense stuff. So this is, this is containment control? I mean, honestly, it doesn't look that hard to solve. I feel like I could just walk there and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Book of Nuclear Reactor Maintenance Guidelines. This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense, and the instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. Yeah, that would rank. Do not recommend listening to this, this series of instructions. Can't use that right now. Try not to be an idiot in there. It would be very bad. Vladdy, stay here, in case you do something stupid. No, Vladdy, I'll miss your squeaky feet walking around. Okay, so he's afraid I'm gonna get myself killed, and he's promptly staying behind, as he probably should. Power plant entry. 
Ha, huh, that worked. Oh, that's a bad sign. It also seems like it isn't necessarily helping the frame rate too much. Containment control. Initiate installation procedure and start the countdown of nuclear explosion. Move quickly. Oh, shit. Welcome to time limit. Ah, uh, frame rate. Frame rate not taking kindly to ma fast movement. Oh, here's the maze part, huh? They just loop. Do, 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 do. Oh, I just went in a circle. I s Where am I? That's bad. Oh, that's a bad. That's a bad one. That's not a good news. Hoop. There we go. That's the side path. I really should have looked at that map. It was clearly a setup for this exact thing to happen. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Definitely not about to die. Everything's fine. I'm gonna maze this. Just gotta tell myself that and it'll be true. Do, 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 do. Ha, ha ha ha. Shit. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, what do I do with you? Oh. Ah. Place the rug containment chainer. Now run back and hit the button again before you blow. Ah! 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 I don't even know if there's actually a time limit. Okay. We're just, everything's fine. Just gotta go hit a button. Just gotta go through a maze, hit button. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Where am I? I'm gonna die. I think I'm almost there. Ha! Ah. Completely... Completed horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure. Oh look, a time limit. So I was gonna die. Bog Batavish, uh, commemorative reactor. Reserve power mode active. Oh look, everything's slightly different colored. That might be good. That may or may not be good news. Keeping my options open. <laughs> Let's go try to press a button. Hello. Restarted the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Yay! Facility power status is A-OK. -okay. So that's the path the staff had to take. Concerning? Do I just head back now? I must have unlocked access to something in the main facility or something by restoring power. Oh look, lights. Can I go up these, by the way? These slopes? I never really tried. I see a glowing light up there. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around... Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. Do they always have our backs to us? Are they supposed to not notice us or something? Hi. I actually can't walk in front of them. That's funny. West hook one. Vladdy, come here. Oops, I tried to jump. Vladdy's stuck. It's, he'll probably teleport. This stupid thing? Hey! We're at the open air. Again with the crawling! Stanya Veselo. Oh, what is Vladdy doing here? Is this Vladdy's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? <clears throat> and for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Garbage. Hope this garbage worth Vladdy's suffering, but already know the answer. No, because it's garbage! <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Yo, my favorite. Vladdy is really starting to hate vents. Hey, hook control console. Due to a communication error, this particular uh, control console was designed to be removable from its base. 
It was lost approximately 60 times during the facility's existence. What a great idea. Or what's the opposite of that? Eh, I'll think of it later. There it is. So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. Oh, that thing you did was important, probably. <laughs> good point, game. Good point. That, yeah, it's one of the hoops we saw on the horizon. Interesting. This one, so this one wasn't one of the ones I saw on the horizon because it was down. 